And welcome to Tabletop Baseball Plus. Time for Game 3, the 98 ALDS between the Yankees and Rangers. And let's take a look at the lineups. The actual lineup for the Yankees is right here. Knobloch, Jeter, O'Neal, Williams, Martinez, Reigns is going to DH. And Spencer, Ambrosius, I didn't write Reigns' uh, speed down. He's a 13. David Cohn on the mound for the Yankees. Aaron Seeley for the Rangers. And this is a look at their actual lineup that they went with. Uh, so good one's the same. Clark, I moved him up to second. They had him down here fifth. Uh, Greer, Gonzalez in the same spot. Alice is going to be playing second. They had McLemore. Rodriguez catching. I've got Zeal here and Stevens DH. Stevens is DH, but they had him up one spot. And then Clayton batting night. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're ready to go here. Knobloch stepping in the batter's box versus Aaron Seeley and 11. In this game, a 55 is an 8. And Seeley is a right-hander. He's a minus 1, Knobloch is. So it makes him a 12. 8 on a 12. And that'll be a single. Squeaks a single in there. So brings up Jeter with one on. Nobody out. 54. 32 is a fly to right. And now Knobloch may take off here. He's a 42 or less. I believe that's what it was. Because he's a 28 and he's got a minus. He's got Rodriguez plus six. Actually, we need to check Seeley's move to first, and it is plus two, so that's an eight. Drops him to a 20. On the chart, that would be a 42 or less. You're looking at the chart. There he goes, and he makes it 23. So stolen base, and O'Neal now with Knobloch at second, a 35 is a 9. Plus 1 versus righties, so it's going to make him a 10. So 10 and a 9 it is going to be a 28. Let's come down here to 28. And ground out 6-3, runner holds. Rangers are fielding two. So two away, Bernie Williams. 13 is a walk. Real life, Yankees won this game and won the series. So first and second with Tino Martinez. 42, 41, turns on first and second, 41, triple play line drive. Well, we don't need a triple play, so it's going to be a line out to second. And the Yankees come up empty. Tom Goodwin facing David David Cohn, 53, 16, center fielder. Williams is a three, so it's going to be fielding one to fly out to center. Will Clark, 45, he will walk. Brings up Rusty Greer. Clark at first, 24, struck him out. So two down, Juan Gonzalez. Uh, 63, 34. Pop out to short. Y is the strikeout. He does not have a Y. He has an X. So top of the second here is Rock Reigns. 
53, 15. 15 is left field. Greer is a 2, so that's a single. And Reigns is a board. Kind of a stealer. And he's not, he's obviously late in his career, so stealing is not something he was real good at at that point. He's an F stealer. Brings up Shane Spencer. Minus 13 versus right handers. But he's in there. He's got a 1 on 22. I just now noticed that. That is weird. So he only played in 27 games. They have him in the lineup. 41, 28, runner on first. Ground out 6-3, runner to second. Wow, he's got a 1 on 22. And a 1 on 33, and a 1 on 66, and a 1 on 11. I guess his home runs to at bats. 67 at bats, 10 home runs. That's why you have to use him sparingly. 36, 33. Pop out to short. So two away brings up the catcher, Joe Girardi. And a 24 will be a pop out too short. So the lead runner on reigns and they leave him stranded. Bottom of two. Luis Alisea, 52. 27 is going to be a strikeout. And the Pudge, 53. Again, 18 is going to be a Error on the shortstop. Unless he's just, well, Jeter's actually going to be fielding one. He's a nine. So that's going to be a single. No error, just a single. Todd Zeal, 42, 22, runner on first, hit by pitch. Unless he has an HBO zero, which he has no rating, so I count that as a zero. So it's a ball one. 27. Double play with, uh, actually X is going to be a strikeout though. The Yankees are fielding one, so struck him out with the X. Lee Stevens, two away, Pudge at first, 44 is an eight. And he's a zero versus righties. So 14, 14 and an eight is a 32, so fly to right. And nothing doing for the Rangers. We'll go to the third. Still no score. Chuck Knobloch, 34. Fly to center. Jeter, 41-24. Ground out too short. Two away, Paul O'Neill. 16-28, ground out to short. So bottom of three, bottom of the order, Royce Clayton with a zero and a 13 is a six. He's a minus five versus righties. It's going to make him a 19, a 19 and a six it is still a double. So Clayton is second. Nobody out. Rangers have an opportunity. Tom Goodwin, 61, is a 40. First on fielder's choice, runners out at third. Second to third, they go. So Goodwin 
reaches and he's a C stealer. He's going to try to steal. Move to first for Cone, zero. Girardi's a minus one. That's not good. That's going to make him a 27. So on the chart, a 27 is going to be a 53 or less. 43, so stolen base for Goodwin. So still a runner on second, but one out. Will Clark, 33, zero. And he's a minus one, it's gonna make him a 15, still a zero. 25 is a six. 15 and a six is a double runner scores. RBI double and the Rangers are on the board. One nothing. One out. Will Clark at second. 63. 31's a fly to center. So two away. Juan Gonzalez 12. 25. 25 would be double play. But it's going to be a 6. We'll just go 6-3. But one nothing Rangers, top of the fourth. Base is empty. Bernie Williams, 21, struck him out. Tino Martinez, 12, round out to first. So two away, Brock Reigns. Singled his first time up, fly to center, bottom of the fourth, Luis Alisea struck out his first time up, 22's an 8, minus 2 versus righties, so it makes him a 16, and that'll be a fly to center. So, one out, Pudge Rodriguez, 15, is a 10, versus a 15. 15 versus and a 10 is a 34, so, struck him out though. No, he didn't. Pop out to short. He has a, a X, not a Y. Seely has the Y, 51's a 9. A uh, 16 and a 9 will be a single for C for Zeal. Two out single. Lee Stevens. 34, 31 is going to be a fly to center. And that'll end the inning. Top of the fifth, Shane Spencer. 62 is a 14. Draws a walk. Brings up Brocious. Gonna have to hit away. There's no stealing. He's not gonna steal. He's not a hit and run guy. He's not gonna bunt. 21, struck him out. Brings up Girardi. 13, 36. Ball, wild pitch. Runner is second. Unless he has a WP3 only. Wild pitch runner second. W wild pitch three only. Otherwise, it's a ball. Sealy has a wild pitch one, so no wild pitch. 31 is a nine. So an 11 versus a nine. Or 11, the result of nine. I don't know. That's a better way to put it. Is a 33. Pop out to third. 
So two way, top of the order, check knob block. 53 is an 18. And let's check the shortstop. Clayton's an eight. So that'll put him in fielding one. Uh, wait a minute. No, a nine or ten is fielding one. And eight is fielding two, so it's an error on the shortstop runner to second. First and second, two outs. And here's Jeter. First and second. 42-22. Uh, first baseman. Clark is a three. So that'll put him in fielding two. So it's an error on the first baseman filling the bases. Back-to-back -back errors. And the Yankees have had some errors not go their way or be costly and so now it's the Rangers on the hook bases loaded for Paul O'Neill 36 33 pop out to first ends the inning which should have been over two batters ago but that's the way it happens sometimes they get him to pop up and no harm, no foul. There's Royce Clayton, <clears throat> 43, 29. That'll be a strikeout. As Cone has an X, so top of the order. Tom Goodwin, he'll foul out to the catcher. Two away, Will Clark, 41, 24. Ground out to short. We'll go to the sixth. Still one nothing Rangers. And Bernie Williams with the leadoff walk. So man on first, Tino Martinez. Could try to hit and run. He's not a hit and run guy though. Not great on contact, not gonna bunt. 35-14. Will be a walk. Yankees in business. First and second, nobody out. Tim Raines. Fifty-two, twenty-seven. So twenty-seven double play. Five, four, three. Runner to third. Earlier in his career, he might have beat that out. Not here. Runner on third, two outs, Shane Spencer. I really want to take him out, honestly. But, I mean, he has a good card. He just, you know, if he gets... But if he gets in the, the pitching change table area, it's going to be, you know, Seeley's going to be a 24. <clears throat> we'll leave him in there. 26, struck him out. So the Rangers pitching has been outstanding in this series. Bottom of the sixth. 44 is a seven for Greer, and he's a minus one, so 15 for on Cone, and a seven will be a single. Brings up Juan Gone. See if he can do it again. He has Homer. In the series, 21, he strikes out. Maybe trying too hard there. Luis Alisea, 32, 26, 
Carl first should flip. Should have flipped it. Uh, Fielder's choice runner and out at second. Four six. So Alice on with Pudge. Uh, he's not. He had four stolen bases. So. Oh, a 12, 25. You ground out to second. And the Rangers still cling to that one nothing lead. As we go to the seventh. Scott Brocious struck him out. And Girardi, 22, 7. And that'll be a single, should be. It is. So Girardi on. Top of the order, Knobloch. And he gets that 53, 18. Shortstop, Clayton's a 9, an 8. So that'll put him in here. First on the air, on the shortstop, runner to second. Knob block. It's another one to short, and Clayton can't handle it. First and second. With one out, Jeter. A batter here in the seventh. Um, oh, 35 is a nine. Jeter's a minus three, so 14. And a nine will be a single, fills the bases. Squeaks one through the infield, bases loaded. Paul O'Neill, lefty. And the Rangers are going to look at the bullpen timeout. All right, so bases loaded. Greg Catteray on for the Rangers. He's lefty. Facing Paul O'Neill. One out, bases loaded. <clears throat> 15 is a 10. Uh, O'Neill's a minus 7. That's going to make him a 14. 14 and a 10. And that'll be a single. Runners advance two bases. So O'Neill comes through, a big hit. Two to one Yankees. And we have first and third with one out. And Cateray, 21, strikes out Bernie Williams. Two away, Tino Martinez. Another lefty, 44. 44 is an 8. He's a minus 4, so an 11. We have runners on first and third. So an 11 and an 8, right? 11 and an 8. And he'll get him to fly to right. Is a 32. So fly to right. That ends the inning. Two runs. The error cost the Rangers. It's two to one Yankees. Bottom of the seventh. David Cohn still pitching. 24 strikes out Zeal. Lee Stevens, 55 and eight. 14 on an 8 as they fly to left. Two away, Royce Clayton. Fouls out to the catcher. So Cone pitching a good game. Bottom of the 8th inning, or top of the 8th inning. And here's range, 62, struck him out. And 
Now Shane Spencer's a plus 10 versus lefties. So Rangers looking at the bullpen again, timeout. So we have a couple changes for the Rangers. It's gonna be Tim Crabtree on the mound. And for the Yankees, they will counter with uh, Ricky Lede at the plate. And he'll stay in and play left. So 53 is a 17. And there's nobody on base. 17 is a single. Well, let's check the right fielder. Gonzalez is fielding two, so or he's a two, so that will equate to fielding two. So it's a single. Ricky Lede comes in and does the job. Brings up Brocious, one on, one out. 33 is a six. So that will be a double. Runner to third and F scores. There's no change on a double unless it's the second after a zero. Okay, so uh, Lede is an F. So he will score. Comes all the way around. RBI double for Brocious, huge. Some little insurance there. Runner on second. And Girardi, 61, 24. Pops out to short. So two away. Chuck Knobloch, 64, 36. Wild pitch, and if he's a wild pitch, uh, two or three, and he is. Crabtree's a three. So we have a wild pitch, runner to third. Fifty-five's an eight. Minus one versus righty, so it makes him a thirteen. 13 and an 8. Oh, flies out to right field. Just barely, but he flies out to right. They do get a run. It's 3 to 1, Yankees. Bottom of the 8th inning, David Cohn. Nursing a 2 run lead. 61's a 40 foul ball. 66, a zero, a good one, still a zero, 21 is a six, and he's a minus one, so 15, and a six is going to be a double. So good one on with a double. With Will Clark. 14 30, fly to left, runner will hold. One out, Rusty Greer. 12 to 25. Line out to second. Actually, we're going to be looking at fielding one. Double play line out to short. So they double him off second. Six. Four, four. Is that right? Six, six, four. Is what it'd be. Six, six, four. So ninth inning. Yankees looking for a little bit more, a little more cushion would be nice for them. Rangers may go to the bullpen. Timeout. After discussion, discussion, they're going to let Crabtree remain in the game. 31, a 9. It's going to make him a 15. He's a minus 3. So 15 and a 9 will be a single, though, for Jeter. So 
So, I'm O'Neal at the play. Let's see. Timeout. They're giving Jeter the green light to go. He's a 20. He's going to be a 25. He's a 32, but you minus seven between Crabtree and Gonzalez. So a 25 is is going to be 51 or less. 35. So good stolen base. And O'Neill now with Jeter at second with a zero. Make sure. Pretty sure that's still going to be a zero. Uh, he's a plus one versus right handers. So makes him 11. So, yeah. 16 and 11, and there's no change on a 7, 8, or 11. So, single. Runners out and F scores. Which Jeter is. So he will score. RBI single for O'Neill. And nobody out. They're going to go to the bullpen. Timeout. All right, so Xavier Hernandez on for the Rangers now. Runner at first with nobody out. 26, fielder's choice, 4-6. For Bernie Williams, he is at first. He may try to steal. And he's going to hang on for now. There's Tino. 15s and 8. And versus a right hander, 0, no change. So 13. 13 and an 8 is a 27. So fielder's choice runners out at second. X is a strikeout though, but no X. So another fielder's choice. Santino on now with two outs. And Rock Reigns with a walk. Good eye. First and second, two outs. Ricky Lede, the new left fielder. 53 17. One of those weird ones. 17. Hit by pitch. And unless he's an HBO zero, which. He is, so ball one. 35, 40. First on an error, filling the bases. Error on the second baseman. Lots of errors. We have bases loaded, two outs. Scott Brocious doubled his last time up. Oh, we got that 53 and 19. Third baseman. Zeal is a three. So it's going to put him over here. First and second on an error. Was a 19. Yep. First and second on an error on the third baseman. Runners advance two bases. So the errors. He's killing the Rangers. First and third. Two runs in. Still two outs. Girardi. 62. Struck him out. Three runs. Should do it for the Yankees. As we go to the bottom of the ninth, David Cohn. It's a 6-1 to one lead for the Yankees. And I believe Cone's going to be a 13 at this point. 41. 24. Grounder to short. For Juan Gonzalez. And brings up Luis Salasea. You know what? Maybe we're going to let, we're going to let McLemore at bat. 
or a bat. Give him an at bat. Just to keep him off my back. He's a little ticked off. He hasn't been playing, but I'm trying to win ball games here. 36-33. Uh, pop out to second. So down to the final out. There's Pudge. 24, fly to center. And that's your ball game. 6 to 1, Yankees win it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 hits. Errors on the Rangers, though. One, two, three, four, five. I haven't had that many errors in a game in a long time. Five. None for the Yankees. One, two, three, four, five. Six hits for the Rangers. Those errors, I don't even want to figure up how many earned runs and unearned runs there was, but safe to say Sealy was the loser. Cone, complete game, gives that Yankee bullpen a rest, and there will be a game four. By the way, there was not a game four in real life, so who should start for the Yankees? Let me know. Is it going to be... Do they go back? Is it her Hideki or Rabu? El Duque? Or do you go back to David Wells? Wells, Arabu, or El Duque? Who's it going to be for the Yankees? I'll figure out the Rangers. And I'll probably stick with about the same lineup since they've been going with basically the same guys. I may go with uh, Chad Curtis instead of Spencer. I don't know. We'll see. So, till then, you guys have a great day. Take care. God bless.